Hey guys, LP here. And what we were alluding to in the magic thumbnail was this, olive oil. Guys, it's gonna sound weird, but listen, this stuff can actually go bad. Now, before you go scrolling away, listen to what I have to say. And I, that was pretty cool, huh? That was pretty cool, totally unplanned. Anyway, olive oil actually goes bad. That's not what this video is actually about. This video is about repurposing this olive oil. In, uh, in, in the next few months, it's gonna get cold. Uh, there's power outages could be happening. Uh, I mean, look at the, the people in the hurricane areas. It's, it's pretty bad. I bet they wish they had something they could have used or planned to use, but you can actually repurpose olive oil because it's actually a fuel that you can use in olive oil lights, lanterns, cooking devices, things of that nature. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk a little bit about olive oil and how it does expire. And then we're gonna immediately move on to the different lamps that you can actually put it in. Then we're going to actually build one out of something that you probably never even thought of. And if you have, then you're smarter than I am. Put it in the comments. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Now we're back at the table, guys. And this is the original bottle of olive oil that I brought up to you. I, hopefully you'll be able to focus in on this. If not, I'll put a still shot in there. But there's actually a set of dates right here. I'm gonna try and zoom in on those for you to show you what I'm talking about. The olive oil can actually go bad or go rancid. Uh, you need to make sure that it, there is a, uh, the date that it was picked and the date that it expires. Now, will it go bad? Well, the bottom line is, is that olive oil is very useful. Uh, and, um, you know, left unopened, it can last up to 18 to 24 months uh, before it starts to go bad. Uh, and uh, once it is open, you should use it within three to six months. Now, there are certain signals of spoilage. Olive oil that has been uh, that has gone bad may have a rancid smell, may taste bitter or acidic, or taste like crayons or wax. Uh, you can also check for white floating in the oil, which could indicate that the cold that it's cold uh, rather than bad. Uh, also, uh, storage, guys, uh, to keep olive oil fresh, stored in a cool, dark place in a sealed, dark glass or tin container. Avoid storing in the refrigerator. I guess. I guess Walmart didn't didn't get the message on uh, glass containers. Decanting, you can buy olive oil in bulk. You can decant it into smaller bottles to reduce the amount of times. You need to open the container and expose it to air and light. Sediment, unfiltered olive oil may have some sediment on the bottom, which is normal. Very old olive oil may have a slime on the sides, which means it should be thrown away. Now, think of this: small amounts of expired olive oil won't do any harm, won't do you any harm, but having rancid oil in regular rotation could have health consequences over time. When an oil oxidizes and goes rancid, the healthy fats in extra virgin olive oil start breaking down, and free radicals start to form, and we all know we don't want that. Okay, so we talked about the oil, we talked about the expiration. Like I said. Hopefully I will, I will have had a, uh, uh, a, a large picture of this explaining what it is. Uh, as you can see, um, what we don't want to do is we don't want to just throw out the oil. You know, it's like, uh, don't put it down the sink, maybe put it in your garden, something. But this is fuel. This is actually fuel that you can put inside of a, of a lamp. Now, there are drawbacks to using this type of, this type of oil in your lamps. Uh, the reality is, is that this oil will clump up at some point in a lamp, uh, and there are tricks to avoid that from happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this to the sides, and I'm going to show you the different lamps that I'm going to start working with because winter is coming. So let's go ahead and do that now. So first things first, I went out to the local Lowe's, and I found a couple of lamps that we can use. What a lot of people don't know is that there's a significant difference between the type of wicks uh, that are, are that are useful for oil lamps as well as using different fuels in lamps. When we start to talk about a uh, the specific kind of wick that is recommended for use in uh, olive oil lamps, you should be trying to find one with a fiberglass wick, and they're not that difficult to find. Uh, fortunately, uh, most of the wicks that come in the outdoor tiki torches actually have a fiberglass wick. I'm going to put a picture up here someplace. So you can actually see what they look like. You'll be able to see that there's a fiberglass base around this uh, and that it, that it is fiberglass. 
and it and and then really all you have to do is put put oil in it and uh, let it set and and, and uh, wick up because that's why they call it a wick wick up and um, you're gonna have you know what we're gonna I'm gonna just pull that off right now uh, and then you're gonna have that 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 is going to wick up and then you're gonna be able to light it and burn it now the other one that I bought uh, was actually out in the home and garden section as well and uh, this is also also has a uh, a specific type of or fiberglass wick inside of it. The difference is, is this is a little bit more high end. It's got this little snuffer on it uh, to control the wick height, but this is a fiberglass wick. Let me get that up there close to you guys. You may be able to see it. Uh, you can actually see the fiberglass flaking off of it uh, like a raw piece of fiberglass. So uh, I picked this one up. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about links in the description for this one right here uh, because the, uh, um, it's at Lowe's. It's at Lowe's, guys. I mean, I could probably find it for you if you really want me to. But the key thing that I wanted to make sure of is that I actually had one of these uh, tampers uh, so I could actually cover it up and put it out and put it out. And I'm going to fill this with olive oil as well. The next thing that you can do, and we're going to make one as soon as I start this process, is you can actually turn one of these into a useful um, olive oil lamp with uh, the wick that's in it, but you have to modify this slightly, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, and then all we have to do is just find ourselves a nice little mason jar, and we can get that process started. Uh, they're they're uh, called chunk lap, chunk lamps, chunk laps, uh, chunk. It's, it's almost hard to say together. Uh, but uh, the uh, the ones that I got off of uh, Lowe's were just the simple tiki lamps. Uh, they will work with the oil no problem because they have the fiberglass wick. Now, with the chunk lamps, chunk lamps, uh, like I said, we'll have to modify this because it won't burn as well as it should if we don't, but it's really not a big deal. So we're going to set this to the side for right now, and we're just going to, we're just going to fill these suckers up. We're just going to, oh, look, that's really difficult to do. Oh, my God, look, look how hard this is. Warning, warning, yeah, whatever. Uh, and uh, this, uh, this oil expired in um, 2023. So we're literally just going to start to pour this olive oil inside of here. Hopefully you guys are able to see that. And they also say never fill whatever your container is up more than halfway with oil uh, because it, uh, it deters the wicking of the, of the oil. Uh, and then we're also going to well, that cap is so bad it doesn't even want to stay on. And then all we have to do is we're going to set that sucker right back inside of there and we're going to let this sucker wick up. It's not, not even a thing. We're going to set this to the side. I honestly don't know how long it will take to wick up, but uh, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. I'll probably do some, this, this is super, super uh, fancy, fancy uh, olive oil that does not, it's, uh, it was picked in February of 2020. So it's, uh, yeah, it's no good. And it does have, it smells slightly rancid. So I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna be pouring that in there. I'm just gonna set that down because it's got one of these slow pour thingies on it. I could have popped that off, but I think it's better that we see that it actually like fill up really slowly. Uh, it is thick. I can tell it's, it, the oil itself is very thick. Glug, 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 glug. It's almost halfway full. Let it have a little bit of air. We're just gonna fill it up to the halfway line or to the, the word tiki. I think that's enough. And we're not throwing these bottles away, guys. We're just gonna take these and we're gonna set them to the side in our pantry. Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna go forward and do good things. What I really should have done is used this uh, extra virgin olive oil from Walmart. So you guys can actually see it, it will burn, but I didn't wanna open it because I mean, it's still, and, and there's no picked by date in here, but it'd be interesting to see what it did, but we're not gonna do that today. So we're just gonna get this sucker, uh, the wicking process started. And we're gonna set that to the side over there. In fact, let's put you back in your little fancy carrying case. So you look all pretty and stuff. And uh, it looks like it's already started just a little bit. Remember that this oil is thicker than um, regular um, lamp oil. And so it will take longer for it to wick. 
but I'm already seeing that it is already starting to draw up. Uh, and I, I might be able to get the little one up there, but this camera is, you can probably see what the wick itself has already started to draw up. All right, so we're gonna set those guys to the side. We're just gonna let them go. And then we're gonna start working on our project. That probably is probably why you're still watching this video. All right, so I picked this up. You can still buy these, believe it or not, at, at uh, many of the, uh, we have a store here that handles all of that kind of stuff. It's a local store uh, and uh, it's, it's got hardware. It's really like an old country store, but you can buy these online for about the same. I bought this one for $5.99 uh, and I'm gonna turn this into a lamp. Now, one of the things is, is you, you have to remember is that this is not, this is not, they're not providing us with a, um, or a, a, a fiberglass wick, it's a cotton wick. Uh, and cotton wicks will work, they just won't burn as efficiently, uh, but they will still work. And we gotta get it on here, we gotta get it on here. So one of the things we have to do is, let's go ahead and take the wick out first, and set that to the side, and then we got to, oh, shit, this one doesn't unscrew. Okay, so this one is pinned in is what it looks like. So we actually have to remove it This may not work. So at this point, I started to show you guys all the different pieces that you have to tear apart. And then once I got the whole thing apart, I realized that I would never be able to screw it onto the top of that lid because the way this one is made, it doesn't, it doesn't unscrew. It doesn't unscrew. So I had to go to another one, find that one, tear it apart, and that became harder than I thought it was. What I will tell you is that it is possible to make this, but I will also tell you that it is not easy. If you have the appropriate tools, it could be, but if you're just going to try and hodgepodge it the way I did, you're going to have a bad day. So hopefully you'll be able to see the finished product here in a second. And through the magic of cinematography, thine will will be done. Okay, so yeah, th this was harder than it looked. Uh, to me anyway. So there were no instructions that came with this. I watched the video. The guy did it with a pocket knife. I figured it out. Uh, but basically you want to get the wick down to that right there. Uh, notice that it still functions, but yeah, uh, you're going to have a party with this thing if you try to make one of these. All right. So the next thing we need to do is we're just going to take this off of here. Okay. And we're going to use it to create a ring about the size of that hole. All right. And then through the magic of cinematography, we take our magical Sharpie here and we're gonna cut that out. Okay, so after a significant amount of finesse, I was able to actually make it work. Uh, the hole that you make is gonna be, you need to make it as, as exact as possible so that it will actually work. Uh, and then there were issues with this even, like even staying on here, but it's in, it's in the metal so tightly uh, that this almost doesn't matter. We're just, this is almost for aesthetics, to be honest with you. Uh, so we're just gonna like spin it on lightly. And as you can see that there's a lot of work went in there and it's just kind of doing whatever it wants to do. Uh, once again, enter at your own risk, that kind of thing. And now we actually have, I wish I had a smaller shorty, so I got to use more oil than I want to, but we're gonna fill this up and see how it wicks. I'm gonna run that down there like that. Get all the tools out of the way. Hell, we may even, yeah, no, I'm not opening it. Uh, let's go ahead and use this oil here. Because it pours faster. And the wick on this one's actually shorter, so we're gonna use even more of the oil. And then we're gonna fill it up more than halfway. All right, we're gonna get this older stuff. I'll let it drip out, drip, drip, drip. You know what? There we go. Pour you all in there. This oil is very thick. May just repurpose this bottle somehow, some way. And then we're gonna get it started. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our three lamps. We're gonna let those get on there. There you go. We're gonna let those uh, sit for a while. And uh, once they've wicked up all the way, then uh, we'll see how well they burn. So after letting these uh, wicks 
wick or prime them. I let, literally let them work overnight because I wanted to make sure this worked. Uh, some things that I noted. So on the little one, this wick was the best one for actually filling full of oil all the way to the top. It's, it's fully charged for lack of better words. Uh, now with oil, with olive oil, it actually takes a while. Uh, it doesn't lie. I recommend that you have like some kind of like mini blow torch to start them. Uh, but um, they, they generally will take uh, a second to light. They don't like to ignite right away. There we go. And you can see, as you can see right there, it's like slowly coming up. I do have this wick a little bit longer than I want it to be uh, because you don't need a long wick for olive oil. We're going to push that back down and it may be too late. Maybe I'll do it afterwards. Uh, but as you can see, it will burn quite easily. Uh, the next one was the, the, this was the fancy tiki torch with the small wick. And you can see how it, it's trying to glean off the side there. That's why you want a shorter wick. What I liked about this particular tiki torch was it has this little wind plate right here. And that gives you the ability to kind of control things. Uh, this one was the hardest one, this thick wick was the hardest one uh, to get to fill up. And in fact, I had to top off, basically put drops on top of it to get it fully charged. Uh, so we're gonna just do that right there. We wouldn't end up, got a little bit of oil around here, so hopefully there won't be any major fire issues with this oil. We'll just focus on the very top of it. And yeah, I could probably be lighting that. It's, it is lit. Uh, I'm also noticing that long wick on the other side is kind of going out right now. I think maybe what I'll do is I will cut that off and try and relight it and see what those effects are. I think the shorter wicks with these are the best options because um, I may have to play with that other wick. That other wick, it's kind of like trying. I may have just destroyed the wick, to be honest with you. Uh, and um, let's, let's, whoop, and uh, yeah, let's, not cre create a giant fire over there. But uh, we'll, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. But this one right here is obviously gonna be the one that's gonna work the best. Uh, this wick right here was fully primed after only a few hours, this is the regular cotton one. Uh, they say that these don't burn as well, but uh, we're gonna find out. Because I think that, um, I think that it'll be just fine. We just have to give it a chance to work. Like I said, the olive oil does not like to light. Uh, it's not super combustible, but once you get it down to a controllable state or size, uh, it works well. And then we can put this right back on top of here, and I think that we'll start to see some even better stuff. Let's turn that light off so you guys can see these a little better. We'll turn that one off, and now you guys can actually see the light that is coming off of these. Uh, this one is burning reasonably well right here. Um, give it a little bit more wick just to see what it does. Now, I think that low wick is going to work well. Uh, and with this one that has that, that wind shade, you can actually adjust the, uh, the it's, we're just allowing more wick to be exposed. It's not actually raising and lowering the wick. Uh, this one we'll have to try, try again and find out why that didn't work. But uh, um, this one did prime the best, but it did, doesn't seem to be burning the best. So. We'll keep working on that one. Uh, this one right here, we're gonna give it, it's already, there we go. We're gonna give that a little bit more wick. So over all three of these, you know, the one that was the least amount of work was the simple Tiki torch from Lowe's. Uh, I'll see if I can't find some actual, some olive oil um, uh, things on Amazon for you. I'll put some links below. Uh, but generally, don't throw out your olive oil. It, it, it does expire. It does go bad. Uh, but uh, don't throw it out because it'll burn. It'll burn just fine. Give this. Let's give this more a little bit more, so we can see some more light come out of it. But yeah, this little tiki torch was the best one out of all three of these, and it was the least amount of work. All right, guys. Hopefully, you got something out of this video. Yeah, I know it was a little bit cumbersome, but uh, as usual. You know, um, if you like what I'm doing, make sure you hit that thumbs up on the way out the door. Uh, if you are not a YouTube subscriber, I recommend that you do it. There's a link in the description. And as usual, stay safe, have a great day, and I shall see you when I see you. Bye-bye.